I get all the way to the end and I realize, shit, I forgot to water and take care of my garden. Oh yeah, for example, I think it broke the immersion of being underwater and yet dolphins hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, for example. There you Fortune go. And glory. To the fallen. <laughs> Cheers. I just upgraded a drink. Yes. mess with us to a whole little gang now are messing with us and I'd much rather take the name calling than the stone train for these little punks. everyone welcome back to the channel and a huge welcome to all my new subscribers I'm super excited today because we're celebrating a huge milestone my 100th video woohoo thanks to YouTube shorts I've reached this 100th episode faster than I ever imagined I want to take a moment to thank each and every one of you for watching and supporting these shorts it's been amazing to see them do so well on the channel. Of course, none of this would be possible without the incredible support of my family and friends. I also want to give a special shout out to Commander Why Riker. I love this game, the interaction and what my characters say, what other characters say, and all right, as you can see, series even more enjoyable. Proof MR2. So we had established that we were going to do a speed run. And so we weren't going to do any base to commemorate our time in the Maji Market. Faja Time and Sexy Big. All right, on the count of three, say Choppa Chase. Wirt. It was fun gaming with Wirt. He was a good sport through it all. I know that I'm not the best Deep Rock Galactic player out there, not by a chance, not by far, but I have fun. Boogle. I'm going. Ah, I did another round. I've seen this. You've really, ins being here, you've inspired me so much. Nick. This is gorgeous. Yeah. I love how you made the uh, walkway yeah. all the way up to it, too. It's cool. Oh, and Trisha. Uh, all the water it feels very like like I'm in the jungle. You yeah. Know. And Thunder for all the fun times recording gameplay together. A massive thank you to my fantastic voice actors, Faja, Vugel, Suze, Furo, and Commander Riker. Your voices have truly brought my videos to life. Thank you guys so much. Are you ready for the chopper chase? Let the game begin! I did it! I did it! Give me some chicken food. Let's ask this guy what he thinks. The attention to detail in the shop is remarkable. Hey! Hey, you up there! Would you please open the gate for our guests? Uh... I don't really know how this works. I just got hired to eat the leftovers to reduce rice costs. How do I do this? Ah, you pea brain. Get out of the way with your lazy bum. Let me do this. Thank you. Hired to eat leftovers? Did I do that? What was that? How big is it? Oh, it's huge. <laughs> when trolls and other creatures jump scare me. Oh, it's right there behind you. <laughs> Stay tuned for Firo's voice acting later on in the video. 
I also want to give a special thanks to Cirque for creating my awesome profile picture used both on YouTube and Discord. Mystifique or Misty for the wonderful emojis that she's created for me that I use on Discord and in my videos, and Sparkle for her guidance during my rebrand last year. And a big thank you to all the Discord servers that let me self-promote. You guys rock. Last but not least, thank you to all my subscribers and viewers who take the time out of your busy day to watch and like my videos. Your comments mean the world to me and I love reading them. Thank y'all so much. Now before we dive into the main part of this video, I want to ask y'all to stay until the end. I've got a special exclusive trailer for an upcoming project that you won't want to miss. I asked for your favorite moments from my videos and many of you mentioned the friendship bench from Google and my Inside Out Park. While it wasn't featured on my channel, it really resonated with so many of you. And I'm really glad that it did. It means a lot. So, in any case, I went through my videos and picked out my top 15 favorite moments. And so without further ado, here are my top 15 moments from the channel. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't get it down to 10. <laughs> All right, number 15, Pits of Doom. Going backwards up the queue in Pits of Doom because I couldn't figure out Tejid Cam and the camera controls when I made this video at this time, but it never fails to make me laugh. <laughs> It's cringy, but it makes me laugh so hard, and it's just, it sticks out in my moments of, oh my gosh. Number 14, capturing the first ever play of the game in Overwatch 2. I think it was my first and last time achieving this in the game. <laughs> Number 13, in Dinkum, the adventures of Boog and Smiling, uh, the part of me chowing down on food as Boog is fighting the croc boss. <laughs> I cracked up making this part of the video and it's one of the moments in this video that stand out to me and that I'll remember in my gameplay of Dinkum with Boog. <laughs> Poor Boog. <laughs> Number 12, the ending scenes oh, from marker point 23.27 to 24.16 in the so Let's Talk Avatar The Last Airbender episode, getting that Easter egg of Boog and I holding Johnny over the edge of Appa to the final scene of King Coaster waving goodbye with the setting sun in the background to me were chef's kiss it really it was like everything was in alignment for those that ending scene and i'm really proud of it number 11 in deep rock galactic's adventures rockin with google series premiere episode one Boog's comments as he's waiting for me to revive his character are classic golden Boog moments that had me cracking up as I gamed with him to editing the video. His humor is fire and a joy to add to the videos and it's one of my favorite moments in this episode. Number 10. In a Planet Coaster Inside Out Cinematics video, the fight versus flight part of this video were the best cinematically as well as showcasing this dope coaster experience in all of the spotlights this park has been in. Thanks to the brilliant cinematic talents of Mango. His use of reshade brought out these rides perfectly and one of the reasons this was a fun moment of mine. Number nine, in a Planet Coaster Bedtime Rituals video, again, 
thanks to Mango's cinematic artistry, his capturing walking under the giant flower towards the entrance of the park, to the zooming out capturing just how big the flower is at the end of the video is really special to me. Thank you so much Mango for all of your help in these videos. Number 8. In the video, Exploring Maji Market in Palea, Likes and Dislikes Revealed. The intro to this video I am proud and love. From my honey's voice acting to the custom memes and gifs and music, it really captured the vibe and humor of the Choppa Chase to me and a favorite from this video. Number 7. In Deep Rock Galactic's Adventures, Rockin' with Boogle, series premiere episode 1, when Boog and I fail our second mission in the video, it was so intense, both, oh God, both as we had played no. it and capturing Boog's reactions were another uh, favorite no. moment in videos. He captured the emotions and vibe we were both we're feeling perfectly stuck, in this clip. No. <laughs> Number six. In the video, my first gameplay of Journey, the adventure begins. The first jump scare moment is a favorite of mine, as it captured perfectly what my family and Boog hear when I get jump scared in games. <laughs> It's funny as fuck, and even watching this clip, I still jump, in, but it makes me laugh. Number 5. In Sense of the Forest, an impromptu video, while the video is raw and unedited and captures my repeating myself a gazillion times. <laughs> Mind you, we were playing this at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> Anyhow, my husband isn't a fan of heights, not even in video games. And to capture him going down the mountain, we, I didn't think it was going to happen. So it was definitely a priceless moment that I captured on footage. And I really appreciate that he let me not only film it, but to share it on my channel and share it with all of y'all. And it, well, this is a, a, definitely a top five for me. Number four, in Deep Rock Galactic's Pour Some Red Sugar On Me parody song, the moment in song where Boog gets captured by a cave leech <laughs> was not only the perfect clip for this part of the, of the song, as his screaming blended in with my singing, but it really, in my opinion, was one of the funniest parts that helped Get make it. this video so oh, fun and funny. <laughs> Thanks again, oh. Boog, for all of your wonderful moments oh, in Deep Rock Galactic. Oh, Number three. In remembering Palea, my likes and dislikes, I have two moments that are tied for third. Like Thunderbutt's comment says, the intro at beginning where the characters all greet you to the ending at the 26.27 mark with the fireworks, these are two moments that are favorites of mine. The beginning was a nod to a beloved morning TV show of mine as a kid, Captain Kangaroo, where they would all greet the captain and that was the idea behind the intro with these characters. And the ending, I wanted to be an epic closing, summarizing my journey up to that point in Palea, as I knew that unless something changed, this would be my last video in Palea. And I wanted it to be special. Number two. In Throwback Thursday, Nordic Food Court Shuffle, the moment starting at 11.07 when I see all of Henmyra's Jormungandr creation capturing my reactions to seeing this is a favorite of mine. It captured my surprise, my awe at truly taking in what she had created and my reactions on it. It's a favorite moment that is captured in video of my thinking I had seen all of something and yet had not. And number one, 
The Adventures of a Poor Lonely Cowboy. From the 021 mark, as it crescendos through to 320 mark, this moment has so many elements that make it number one for me. In other spotlights, the custom music wasn't played, so in this version, you get to hear the beautiful Magnificent Seven's theme song, as I have literally built this coaster to that song. As the poor lonely cowboy comes into view as you leave the station to the climatic part of the song as you're in the caverns to the perfectly timed ending pulling back into the station. Despite the following cinematic sucking ass, this moment, the POV part of the video, is the heart of the video as it's got a huge place in my heart. As even writing it, I think you can feel just how much I poured into doing my best in this coaster for the contest. It captures my love letter to the beauty of Arizona and my love for the poor lonely cowboy. Were any of your favorite moments on my list? If so, which ones? Let me know in the comments below. And if not, I'd love to hear what your favorite moments were. And now for the special trailer I promised you. In a snowy winter land, surrounded by ginormous terraformed snowmen, Seuss the Snowwoman is playing tunes on the piano, as Smiley the Snowwoman listens along, and Cliff the Snowman records Seuss's piano playing. Hey Smiley, how about a little holiday spirit? last year. Can you play something new? Hmm. Okay. Well, what do you think of this? Whoa! Not what I expected, but it works! Suze, you might be onto something here. This freaking rocks! Join Seuss, Smiley and Cliff for the ultimate winter thrill. Don't miss the premiere of Big Balls, The Ride, on December 12th. Get ready for the coolest ride of the season. really excited for y'all to see and experience this upcoming ride. A big thanks to Suze and Fiero for lending their voices and talents to this trailer. Your help means so much. Now, that reminds me. I had a quiz in the community section of my channel a few months ago, asking y'all to take a guess at which market stall, Charming Churros, or Smiles and Styles had the most piece count. Before I let you guys know the right answer of which one had the most piece count, let me just, I know that I only had a couple pictures on the post, so you get a little sneak peek at these two market stalls. Charming Churros is a bit smaller. but has some detailing outside. <laughs> These are supposed to be custom churros. <laughs> My uh, custom roof. 
with some animatronics inside manning the fort in addition to this lovely lady. And then here's uh, Smiles and Styles. And a shout out to the amazing Mango for making all of these custom Theme Maker Toolkit shirts from all my various shops over the years, like Shivers. This is the only one uh, Red Mist made the bonjour for me, but then Mango's made all the rest of my shirts for me. So there's new shirts with my logo and big balls. Uh, and then he's made uh, shirts from the shops in Inside Out. And without further ado, Congrats to Tangu Terror and to user CS2 for both guessing correctly. A for Charming Churros definitely had the most piece count, even if it's smaller. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving, right y'all? Thanks for your participation. I hope to have more fun little quizzes for y'all to participate in. So keep an eye on the community section of the channel. Thank you for hanging out with me in today's video and for your support in helping me reach this milestone. Here's to the next 100 videos. We've got more Planko content, new DRG videos, more Conan bases to explore, and Valheim content and a few other games coming your way. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new content. If you enjoyed today's video, please make the like button feel special today. Until the next video, peace, love, and blessed be. Bye y'all!